So we've just got a couple of brand new Anthem SP2s that we're gonna set up for our wholesale customers. And we just wanted to show you what we do before we send them out to the cafe. So give us a second while we set these up and then we'll take you through what we do with these grinders to get them ready before they go out. got them out of the box, we're going to check them over to see that there's no marks or dents or any imperfections on the grinders. Um, we're going to turn them on to make sure they're actually going to run. Then we're going to start running some beans through them. And that's going to help us clear some of the manufacturing metal tastes out of the blades, out of this chute. That's not going to, um, we don't want to end up in the customer's cup when we first put them out into cafes. Um, it takes about eight kilos for that to happen. So we like to do that now. Uh, it'll bed in the blades then when we send them out, we'll be pretty much tuned in, ready, not only in the grind setting, but also our button one and button two um, dose settings, which are set by time. So it's far easier to have that done before you get into a cafe, and the cafe is really gonna enjoy great coffee from the start. So we've got the grinder plugged in. Um, turn it on over this side. You hear the fan kick in. Just gonna wait for the screen to come on. So that's telling us it's ready to go. Give us a little test on the manual button down here to make sure that the grinder's gonna work, which is great. Um, you can see it's set about 6.5 at the moment. So I just wanna test that and just see how, how that's grinding at the moment. Just see how coarse this is. So we've gotta clear out this chamber a fair bit. And the grind's going to start to come through evenly. Great, so that's actually, it's actually pretty close to espresso, to be honest. So that 6.5 is actually um, not a bad setting to start on. Um, I wouldn't be going coarser or finer on that at the moment while we're trying to season those blades. Um, if anything, going a little bit coarser is going to speed up this process a little bit for us. So I'm just going to go up to eight. Give that another little test. Just a little bit coarser, and that's gonna make it a bit quicker for us to be able to pump through quite a few kilos. So just gonna fill the hopper right up and then start pumping these kilos through. So we keep doing this until we've gone through eight kilos of coffee, and then we know that the blades are gonna be right to set for an espresso grind, and then we'll set up the timers. So as a standard, you've got your one cup and two cup buttons, and that's just the time um, that is allocated for how long it's gonna grind for. So one cup is set for two and a half seconds, and the two cup is set for four and a half seconds. Because we use these day in and day out, we know that we're just gonna be under that seven seconds, probably about 6.8 to start for us to get 22 and a half grams. So that's a good guide, and then we'll be able to take it to the cafe and yeah, start pumping out great coffee for them. So you'll notice I've been using the manual button down here to grind through. They're standardly set when you press this button and you've got the actual handle locked in. While that's locked in, it will continue to grind. But in this case, when we've got a scale sitting down here in a dosing pot, it's not gonna um, continue to grind the full amount of time that we allocate. So we do need to go back in to the menu um, it's quite easy, we're just getting uh, into the menu and we're just changing what this button does. It's pretty easy, that's one thing we always set up as well. So this is the process that we do with any new grinder that we're putting into a cafe. Uh, hopefully that's given you a bit of a good insight to it. If you've got any questions about the grinders, hey, shoot us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks guys, have an awesome day.